friends, working on the tractor again today. We're uh, flipping the rims on the tires because we want the st uh, stems out. And uh, I don't know, we've been kind of working on this. It's going to end up putting the wheel space in a little bit wider, so we'll see how that goes. But this stuff's all rusted and stupid tight, and so we're going to take it all apart and do the anti seize trick to it. Jake's working on these now. How many have you cracked, Jake? I think I got about two more to go. Two more to go. This side's going way better than the other side then, because the other side took a long time. We got the one side done first. Look at look at look at look at the strength in this guy. I'm telling your friends he's an animal. Hey, this kid when we, we tap into his secret powers, it's amazing. So there's the other one. That one's done. We flipped it around and it's slightly wider now, so. Hopefully that's not going to give us an issue with getting it on the trailer. We'll see. Don't care. We're going to try it for a bit. Uh, we got that done. While this is off, I might see if I can pry down a little bit on the, the fender crash Ola. But uh, neat junk, eh, behind the wheel? Look at that. You know, she's amazing. Amazing piece of equipment. 1956. Ferguson. Uh... What do we call that there? TO35. Look at that. Okay. The new gasket's performing beautifully in the fuel bowl. I got some other little doodads I'm working on. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And everything else is looking decent. Yeah, wishful thinking there, bud. Apparently, more than two. Apparently three. Yeah, all well, that you know what we have to do. Yeah. I thought. Uh, you found that, uh, that breaker bar laying on the road and the socket. Would you believe that? I couldn't believe it because I'm looking. We picked it up off what was laying on the road. So we'd go back, we pick it up, and then we get it home and we're like, does this actually fit? And it fits the lug nuts. It was amazing. It's an inch and a sixteen, and it's the same bolts for the lug nuts and uh And the and the and the, the nuts that hold this, these studs, these crazy looking studs that the rims are on, it holds the rims the rims to the uh, the center hub. It's kind of good that the tires lean in against the house because it's actually the sidewalk holding onto it, and it weighs like 400 pounds, so it's like it's not going anywhere. Way more effective application of torque. So if you happen to do these tra these Darren tractor tires, you got to find a sidewalk. I think it makes it easier. But yeah, here we are in the neighborhood, right? Working on tractors. Check that. Sorry, friends, if I'm going too fast. I'll just pan around slow. Check that out. <laughs> yeah, I gotta love the neighbors. Ran out of torch gas, so that didn't work out too well. Yeah. So here we are at it. So what what we're gonna do? is we're going to take this uh what are we going to do in this one we're going to flip the hub around 100 we're going to flip it right around that's what we're going to do what go downward on a downward angle no lower it down though you're kind of trapped because you're at the top yeah it's making it a bugger something like this yeah so if you can pull 90 degrees to the is always best. Here, give it to me. Take, hold the camera. 
Let's get the old man hurting himself for once instead of Jake always doing it. She's running. Just go ahead. We're doing more than 750 foot pounds. Our impact won't touch these, so. Oh. It turned. It turned? Yeah. But it's a tough spot. Yeah, it is a tough spot, isn't it? <clears throat> we're just in the house watching the boss. TV while we're eating your dinner. Yeah, we don't watch a lot of normal entertainment anymore. No, we watch mostly YouTube stuff. It's oh, keeps us keeps us motivated. It's like a competitive thing. You know, you see other people doing shit and you want to do shit. Stuff. Stuff. I can't. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna go down. No, not like that. Why not? And if the spacing doesn't work out, at least we've had all this apart and it's all anti seized and we can just rip it off quick, a lot quicker. And, yeah, and obviously, if we had a shop, I'd be sandblasting all the rims and doing all that stuff, but we don't, we're not set up yet, so we'll, we'll revisit that. But it's not bad, everything's okay, so. Uh -huh. <clears throat> hmm. You're gonna have to roll that tire a little bit. Yep. Boom. Boom. Got it. So you want to take the camera down? I'll try and get these with the impact gun. All right. Hand off. Uh, found the tripod, but I just got to get into you. It's slipping from behind. Yeah. They all are, but at least they're loose. Oh, there's one. All right, well, we're gonna put the camera down, and we'll uh, we'll show you when we get it back over there. Um, yeah, we don't have a third person to film, so. But I'll tell you, the first thing that we noticed, though, this this almost got us into trouble. I'm gonna go real quick on this. Is when you jacked it up. I jacked it up off the center and the weight of those tires my god it pulled it right down so remember that you got to do jack stand and jack because of the tire is such a heavy tire so yeah that's the way it's got to be so don't forget that and uh anyway we'll get back to it when we get back to it and we're on the on the home stretch see you in a bit So right now what we're going to try to do is drive the studs out and hold this thing together because we've got to flip this center hat, it's got to be flipped around because it's going on the other side of the tractor. We're it's like rotating the back tires to a different side. So we're using the nut just to protect the threads. Protect the threads. Well, fine threads. Believe it, Dad. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So, almost there. Much better than the last side. Oh yeah, way, way faster. Might have to get me a drift or something, Dad. Yeah. Is that, is that the only one? The feel one. That one's gone. Hit it square. Hit it square. Yeah, pretty dangerous. Oh, that's uh, Andrew. It's tight all the way. Okay, so here, hold this. Drift. Get a drift. Go in the land of junk. And clean it up today. I actually found some workbench under all the stuff. Be careful with that, eh? Yeah, I got it. She's 
He's freaking heavy. Our first time dealing with filled tires. Oh yeah. It's not like the racing days. Filled tires are a treat. They're freaking heavy. I'm not gonna lie to you, friends. They're heavy. Did I tell you they're heavy? All I gotta use is a bolt, Jake. I'm working on that McCullough, and I had it out in the sun today because I'm trying to, I don't know, put it out in the sun. The carburetor's got a seized throttle shaft, so I don't know what the, and the damn garbage pail tipped over. So, of course, the McCullough, the McCullough Mac 110 goes flying, breaks the little handle, which, I don't know, I think I'm going to end up just buying a parts one and building one out of the tube because it's got good compression and good spark and everything. But uh, you might have to hit that with a hammer. Yeah, we're going to have to. Back. So if you can hold, I'll hold this tire dodge. You can hang on to it and I'll pop it? Yeah. Okay. That's heavy. It popped out quicker than we expected, but I moved out of the way, so. We're okay. <clears throat> right? Yep. We're okay. So now, that goes in 180 degrees to it was. Yes. So we basically pulled it on like this right yeah. that gives you an idea what we're doing it's here okay so get let's pop it in yeah do we want to take a rag quickly and clean up some of the shit sure go we're ahead gonna... let's get this out and then what we're gonna do do this one hand got some studs on the bottom here but... so we're just painting these peckers up with uh and he says, hold this. Take this one. Hold it. So this is what, I'll give you an idea here. Action just, cam. Just coating them, coating just them. Just coating them really they're, good. these are old and tired. So they do have a bump on them that's supposed to lock in the rim so that you can tighten them. But they're a little bit wore down. They're a little bit we would old. Be, if, we had, if we had the means and everything, we weren't kind of. Yeah, we'd be saying. This, this whole mission this here is just to try and get the valve stems on the outside of the tire. Here, hold this. Take the camera. <clears throat> Set that down. Let me get a rag first, Dad. Hands off. This whole mission is over so we can actually, we gotta fix the valve stem to fill the tire and... Yeah. So this is all I'm doing right here is make sure you butter this up really good. Alright. And uh... I put a little bit of oil in this anti-seize because it was getting old and stiff. So it's nice and juicy now. You can see it goes on really good. So I think that's going to be it. So we'll pause the film right here. Well, let's get this. Give me that. Just want to clean that rim out. There's garbage out of here. Again, it'd be nice to, to dismount all this stuff and sandblast. Maybe eventually we'll get there. But right now we're just... The mission is to get the valve stem onto the outside of the tire and to replace the one valve stem and be able to actually air the tires up. That's kind of the short term So goal. you can see the damage here that the valve stem. That's what calcium does to the rims. It's hard on them. It's a salt. That's why it doesn't freeze. That's hard on rims. So we may think Go about windshield washer, fluid. windshield washer fluid, which will give us a uh, give us what we need for freeze protection, and it won't rot the rim. So I got to clock this. Oh, missed it right there. bolt in from the back. I need a tiny bit of rotation. Oh, come on, baby. There, there you go. go. You got her there. You got at least one. So I'll put the nut on. I'll screw the nut on. And we'll just... Oh, oh yeah. You need to push hold with your hand. Okay. We'll let you go here in a second, friends, and when we get this buttoned up, we'll... Okay, let go. There you go. Yeah, use that dexterity. Is it good? Is it yeah. cross or... It feels like garbage, though, don't it? Yeah. You said we would... Yeah, it ain't cross. Ways. No, that's good. Okay, so we'll let you go, friends, and then we'll talk to you when we get this all buttered and buttoned up. So we got the center all back in again. Uh, not really any trouble, per se. Just a little bit annoying. Um, 
this is what all the trouble was this valve stem here on the one rim the top half was completely wiped off and I mean it was gone so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this valve stem out these rotten old buggers here and put them in put new ones in That one's a little tight. Let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna have to get it with a pair of vice grips. Hold on to this. I know I had vice grips out earlier. Ah, yeah. The other one's finger tight, so that's a good thing. I know that because I had it out. We'll see how this one goes. Okay, pay attention to holding on to that thing, Jake. Nope. That one's going to fight us. I don't know to tell you about that. It's twisting the whole... You can see it's wiggling the whole valve down. Isn't it? You know what? We're going to have to wait. Can you hold that? Hose it down with oil. No, hold it, I'll get two pairs of ice grips. Just don't let go of that rip. Trouble's gonna be had. There will be trouble afoot. So, what I'll do is I'll try to snap onto these guys here. I ain't got my eyeballs on, so I can't see that good. all brass so you wouldn't think you could see too badly anyway no oh, that's not tight enough Now, let's let the air out. Yeah, I don't know how much air is in this, so. Is that the same style? Where's the valve from? Go ahead and put that. Get that in the camera shot. Same thing, eh? Same thing. So we'll put this in. Sorry about the camera waving, folks. Just so yeah. Hands we'll put are, this in. Hands are full. It's just kind of heavy stuff and new to us. So. All right. So now we need to know. Now I, I've read different things on right. So they're saying to pump it up till you have three treads touching the ground. Other guys are saying to pump it up to, I think the width. So it'd be 13 pounds. If that makes sense. So we'll try 13 pounds. Can you hold that up? Stay in the camera shot on the valve stem. And then what I'll do is I'll get uh, I'll get our air up rig. Just because they're flat, they're, they're really hard to handle. If you guys can hear me. But the flat tires are terrible to handle. I don't know, what do you think? I'm gonna go 10 pounds, see what happens. Get, get a little wide shot of that here, just a minute. I'm gonna switch it back into, that'll give us a little bit of a wider shot. Not really wide angle per se, but wider angle. Okay, back up. Look at that, nice professional rig there. Right away the tire goes up. And there's a pound there. And there's about four, four pounds there. 15 PSI? I'm gonna try 10. And that's what these guys will run on? Let's 
So there, well, we're gonna go 12. There we are, 12 pounds. Look at that. All this just to do that because the one tire was going flat. This tire. We had no way to fill it. No way. Couldn't get your hand in there. The valve stem was all smashed off. Actually, this was the good one. The other one was the bad one. Okay. So, friends, we're going to let you go and we'll roll this over here and then we'll. Yeah, it's a two man job with no camera. So, we'll catch you in a bit. Oh, it's back on again. We can't film that, sorry, because it's just a pain to try to manhandle this 400 pound tire around. And uh, Jake's gonna gun that on right now. What we do for content. Yeah, go ahead, leave off. Let the bulldog eat. Well, three ugga duggas when you get down to it. Yep, go right around. Is that good? Yep. You think it's tight? Yep. Wanna do it again or no? No, you're good. Okay. Okay, that's it. Ingersoll ran titanium to the rescue. Uh, so we got a jack. We got to send the jack to the center now. We're gonna get the one axle. Get stand the one out. axle stand out. Oh, went down too far. Here, get this. I'm one hand in here. Yeah, that's cool. And then we'll get that other side jacked up so we can do the air pressure. Change out the valve. Do the air pressure. We're done. Because this valve is just. That valve is pooped. We might have some rot in the rim. We're going to have to see. These were replacement rims. So we're going to keep an eye on that because that might be, uh, might be something to buy. Might be something that we fix in the future. Okay, you gotta go a bit more. We gotta get that uh, tire off the ground so we can get it. You got it when you do the anything, when you do air, air pressure or do stuff monkeying around with the stems on these because of the calcium. That's a little more, Jake. It's all right. Okay, hold on. So now we're at 12 o'clock. And this will screw up my hand, you yep. say? That one on screw by hand. It might pop a little bit. It might be a little bit of air, but I don't think much. So you can see the little bit of calcium that came out. If you were to do that in any other position, then you would have a ton of calcium coming out. So that's O-ring sealed. Get her all the way. Let's put 12 pounds of air in this bad boy. Grab the airline. And the tractor should sit uh, level. That was the whole plan was to get this thing sitting level. So I'll do some cleanup on the rims tomorrow. Um, I'll get the pressure washer out. Maybe I'll paint them. That might be a plan. Let's 
see how it goes. But now they've been taken apart, so they'll come apart really easy. So if we have to change anything, it's okay. Yeah, I won't be out there with Johnson bars and all that monkey around. So I got to thank uh, Fountain Tire and Air. They're our local tire guys. These guys went out. He he went all the way for me, friends. I was out there trying to get a uh, a quote on tires for my truck. The Silverado there needs a new set of skins. And I was talking to him about this. So for five bucks, he gave me the two valve stems. So he says, "Give me five bucks. I'll take the, go get some coffee for the boys." I don't know how many coffees you're going to get for the boys, but all I had on me was a fiber, and he said, "No, no problem." So. There you go. So we're just airing this bad boy up. You nervous? No. That's 10? Yep. One one notch over should be 12. Oh. There you go, 12 pounds. We'll leave it at that. Yep. There's a lot of work to do, what we need to do, but it frees it up and the adjustability is back. As far as I'm concerned, when stuff is seated together, it's no longer adjustable. So, uh, do you want to set that on the ground first? Or? Here you go, first whack. I think I did a good job tuning her up. charging. But I don't know if you can see it. Oil pressure is good right to the end, but we got the gauge is done. Uh, yeah, here we are. It's all good. So we got another job done on her. Get these cleaned up tomorrow. And uh, the new tires are for the front are on order. And everything's looking good. Next we're gonna pull the gas tank off and do the set the valves. I don't like all that topping. Thanks for joining us again. You can see the work's progressing on the tractor. Um, I had the boom on, I'll put that back on tomorrow. But all the chains are done, the anti sway chains. And these have got all new pins on the left arms, except for the bottoms. We haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that yet. They're a little bit wallered out, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna fill those and redrill them or what we're gonna do. So, but flip, flipping the tires around gave me a little bit more width. So it might be a problem. We might have to flip it back. But at least I can work on the fender now. I can get my hand in there. So that's good. That's all we were after. I'll put this on the top so I can check my air pressure tomorrow morning to make sure I don't have any issues. So we're at 12 o'clock with the gorgeous brand new stems. And we're at uh, 12 o'clock, still there, Jake, in that rim? Yeah. All right, that's it. And now sitting she's sitting level. And I'll clean up those rims and make them look good. And that'll make everybody happy. So, that's a pretty good stance on the old girl now. All that white stuff on the motors, the degreaser I've been using, leaves a lot of residue. So anyway, that's it for tonight. Thanks for letting us make another video for you guys. Uh, the driveway ag project continues. And I don't know. Let me know what you think about tire pressure. We're at 12 PSI. 
So any of you tractor guys, I've no, I haven't done this. For race cars, I can tell you what you want for pressure, but for tractors, not so much. Um, so, so what have we done so far? We did a tune-up on it. Plugs, points, cap, rotor, spark plugs. Uh, I'm gonna make new new plug wires. That's coming up. We fixed the fuel leak. Uh, set the carburetor up. Fix the headlights. Fix the work light at the back. We added a slow moving triangle sign, did the chains and the pins. Um, I think next we'll probably, definitely we're going to do the valves. So that'll be next. So what we'll have to do is drain the gas tank again, pull the tank off, and then uh, I'll set the valves up. And that gives us a chance to pull the valve cover. Hopefully the ga valve cover gasket survives. I think maybe I might order a gasket first because it got a couple of clicky valves top it's so that's what we're into that's where we are thanks again so the progress is coming along and uh we're very, happy. very happy we built the big boom there for it i don't know if you guys watched the other video that was the first implement we built any suggestions on the color i've got a few in stock so if you have a suggestion let me know and then this cultivator's got to be put back together again so yeah, so there we are. So, thanks for joining us again. It's uh, Jake and Jim, Suburban Farmers. We'll see you soon. Oh, one thing I almost forgot, fans. Gotta remember, gotta hit that like button. And you gotta subscribe. That's how we get this channel going. Come on. We need you. We need subscription. Thank you. Peace out. Stay happy. Stay safe. See you soon.